Hi guys, Richard here. So, um, a lot of questions have been kind of floating around to me personally around how do I write on how do I write on Medium, right? Like, what do I do? And there's a lot of great guides out there, but I haven't noticed a lot of them just not do a walkthrough, like publish an article right in front of you. Um, although I won't publish this one because I've already published this one, I'll show you exact steps to the end before I press the publish button. So the things you should do when you first set up in your first few days. Um, and yeah, so let's just get straight into it. So um, it's pretty easy, to be honest, to set it up. Um, a lot of it just comes down to consistency around your writing. That's obviously the first thing you should keep in mind. Everything comes with consistency. Like I started making, let's say, around $1,000 a month when I was more consistent with my writing. Um, it, so consistency doesn't mean that you have to publish like an article every day. So my general, because I have a full-time role, as well as I work um, on my startup on the side as well, um, I generally try to write at least one or two articles a week. Um, these days, I've been pretty lazy and I'm just trying to hit one article a week. But with that alone, you can definitely still make money from Medium. And if that's the goal of um, you, then go for it. But I'd say your goal of Medium should generally be to have fun and enjoy what you're writing. So I wouldn't see it as trying to make money from it. I would rather see it as um, you are enjoying, you're creating great content, and in return, that gets you money. Right. So that's just like how a lot of people view things anyway around the world. So, okay, let's just get straight into it. So obviously you have an article here. Um, you can see I've written it, um, wrote it, sorry. And um, the first thing you should do is, is if you're new on Medium, you should join a partner program. Now, the only the reason to join the partner program is one, you can create, curate your content and two, you can earn money from it. Um, so creation is basically a way for Medium to um, share your content to, people's, to people on the network depending on the topics you uh, they create you for. So for example, if I go onto medium.com and I scroll down here, you see a lot of like a lot of articles floating around. You see from your network, so that's what people like you follow and stuff. But then you also go, you start seeing these ones. Articles under certain like headings. So startups here, freelancing, you got creativity here. And if I scroll down and I press more here, you see all these topics, right? So generally you want to be aiming to um, fall under one of these topics. So you got like, for example, culture, if I click on culture, all these articles here are created by Medium under culture, right? And so you want to specifically, one step one, pick a niche. I, I would say always pick a niche. Um, I'm a more of a technical writer, so I look at tech, like tech startups, um, technical content. So that's just my area, like business as well. Um, that's just how I like to do content. So first step is you should look at niche, um, what niche topic you want to write about and then join the partner program. So the reason why I say do this first is because it takes a bit of time to get them signed up. It takes like maybe like one or two days because you've got to get your Stripe account signed up, double check if you're one of these countries and meeting needs to approve you and stuff like that. So before you publish, get this signed up and so you're ready to go. Now, step two is join a publication. Now. Um, let's say if I publish this piece of content or I go to uh, press add to publication here. So on your top right, you have these three dots and you have a bunch of settings here, but you want to look at this add to publication. Um, and you see a lot of publications I'm already signed up for. Generally, um, sometimes it's vetted. Sometimes it's pretty easy to get in. So, um, so just make sure you are aligned to a publication you're writing. So for example, I write about marketing stuff. I can do it on a better marketing. FinTech or financial stuff, data-driven investor, scrolling down, if startups, the startup, obviously. If I'm doing like writing, general writing content, like how do, how do I do technical writing and stuff, um, I can post it under the writing co cooperative. So you've got different like types of writing um, blogs or publications, sorry, that you can go under. Now, generally, how to get into them, I think most of these, um, you can, there's a pub, like a, I guess a form that you can fill in and then they'll vet you if um, they think you're a suitable writer. So generally in the beginning, it's best to publish, I'd say a few articles before you put a publication um, request in, just so, just to show that it's not a, you're not a random person. Um, so in the beginning, obviously, as I said, consistency is important, but let's say I go to Better Marketing and I go to Write For Us. And so actually, if I go back quickly, so you can see already that like a lot of people here, like David, um, Eduardo, like just people who are writing under these publications. Um, some of these are from, from the publication itself, some of these are not. So if you like think of your Wall Street journals and stuff and Forbes magazines, you got Forbes contributors as well as just guest posters. So you can think of it as your guest posting for a publication. 
And so if I click on write for us, um, you see a bunch of stuff that you should be following um, for them. So obviously you can see they pretty Canada render rejection rate and stuff. So don't be disheartened if you get rejected by publications. There's a lot out there to be honest. Um, so if I scroll all the way down, you can see that they have like a um, submit your form. And so obviously um, when you submit your form, you got like all the stuff that you fill in. Now the, f the best advice I can give you to get into a publication is keep get your, your content needs to be unique. So if I wrote a piece of content around like, oh, how does marketing look like um, in general? Like what's, what's marketing look like? What's the basics of marketing? It's not going to get on because there's probably 20,000 other articles that are on that. But if I wrote an article around like how to get into technical market, like how do I um, write technical? How do I get into mar marketing in a technical career? Kind of like stuff like that. More unique piece of content, then it's a higher chance of trying to get in because they want to see unique content, right? Because all these people have seen thousands of like requests and if they see the same content that's written by someone else, they're probably going to reject your um, request to join their publication, right? So keep it unique. That's the, probably the most best advice I can give you. Now, once you get into a publication, you can submit it under this. So for example, for this one, I'd submit it under um, startup, select and continue, and boom. So now you have an unsubmitted draft. And so once you publish, it will submit to the publication first. And then once they approve it, you can, you can bas it just basically gets uh, distributed as well as um, has a chance of getting created by Medium. Now, for tags, what I like to do is I like to do um, some general ones as well as some niche ones. So for this one, um, I would obviously do startups. So 447K, that's a really big one. Technology. But then, okay, so those are two big ones. I might chuck in business there. And then I'll do some more niche ones. So for example, venture capital, that's like a more niche one. So that's your 47K, it's a lot less, but it's more niche. And I will do something like finance, which is a bit niche as well. So 122K. And then I will submit. So that's all you need to do. Submit to publication. So generally, all these other things, you can share to Twitter if you want. Um, all of these, you just want to check is this one. So change display title and subtitle. So obviously right now, when you first write the heading, it's the same. But let's say if I change the heading to, hi there. See, it doesn't update. So you got to make sure if you change it twice, you have to update it. So now I'm going to change it there. Boom. So I changed it. And then always have a subtitle. So these, this is like something you'll see, um, let's say if I go back to medium. So you can see here, some, some of these might not have sub, um, subtitles, but you can see here, subtitles, Malcolm Gladwell's top, top 13 writing tips, lessons from the best selling authors. So obviously it's like a good flowing kind of like, you have your main heading to capture attention and then tell me a bit what I'm gonna be reading about, right? So. That's like the whole concept of having a subtitle. Make sure you have one and make sure you update it here. Um, and the first image you put down here is your featured image, but you can also change or change your featured image if you don't want that. So for example, if I want this instead or this, like I want the Airbnb logo, then boom. So you can just change that if you want as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for how to publish an article on Medium. Um, so hopefully this helps you. Um, a lot of the times, um, oh, okay, actually one more thing is if you just want a bit more of exposure, um, Many Stories is a great little platform which um, is created by this guy, Daniel, what's his last name? Lincoln, Daniel Lincoln, I think. He's a great guy. I've spoken to him um, through the platform as well and he's just a great guy. He made this to help basically people, especially newer writers on Medium post content. So all you need to do is share your story. So once you publish, you get a link and then all you need to do is share it here and boom, you got new, you got basically more eyeballs looking at it. So. That's just another way to just help promote your content. Um, definitely a very, um, another kind of like way to promote your content. So hopefully this video helps. Um, I know a lot of people just haven't done a walkthrough and I just, I was like, you know what, let's just do a walkthrough, right? Like um, I'll definitely do a video on how I format, to, format my content, but this is just a video on like the basics of how you go through and submit your first article on Medium, especially after you set up your creation, uh, sorry, your Medium Partner Program. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. So yeah, hopefully this helps and I'll see you next time.